Hi everybody! Usually on this channel, I post grammar videos for my flipped classroom or classroom activities for ESL teachers. But right now, I'm not a teacher, I'm a student. I have the opportunity to study Spanish in Spain for two months, and I'm documenting my experiences, trying to follow my own language learning advice. One piece of advice I often give to my students is to make the most of their commuting time, the time that they spend going to and from school. Now, how you do this depends on your mode of transportation, whether you're walking or riding public transportation or driving in a car. For me, I am walking to school while I'm here in Spain. I walk for about 30 or 35 minutes each way, and so some of the strategies that I recommend to my students won't work. For example, for my students who ride the bus or the train to school, I recommend that they review their vocabulary notebook or use a language learning app during that time. Now obviously that won't work because I'm walking and I can't be looking down at a book or at my phone during that time. So I decided to use that time to work on what I think of as one of my weaker skills, and that is listening. I decided to take the time, the 30 or 35 minutes walking, to practice my listening skills. And I came up with two ways that I wanted to do that. And that was through audiobooks and podcasts. So then I needed to figure out which audiobooks and which podcasts I was going to listen to. For audiobooks, I wanted to choose a book that I had already read before in English so that I would know the story a little bit and it would make the listening a little bit easier. So it was a little bit difficult to find audiobooks in Spanish that I had read the story already, but I found one and I downloaded it. Now as for podcasts, there are more options. I have listened before to a podcast called News in Slow Spanish. It covers news stories from the current week in Spanish, but they speak a little bit more slowly so that it's easier for learners to understand. They have a new episode, I think once a week, and it's usually less than 10 minutes. But one of my classmates also re recommended another podcast called Hoy Hablamos, which is similar in style. It, they cover a different topic every day, and they have a podcast of about 10 minutes each day. So it's a little bit slower so I can understand more clearly and practice my listening that way. So this past week, I did a combination of audiobooks and podcasts during my morning commute walking to school. I really enjoyed using these tools to practice my listening during time that otherwise might be wasted or not used very efficiently for language learning. I think I enjoyed the podcasts more than the audiobook. The audiobook was a little bit faster and a little bit harder to understand, so I think I would rather listen to audiobooks when I can sit still and focus on what I'm listening to to understand a little bit better. The podcasts that were slower in speed and used a little bit simpler vocabulary were excellent for me because I could still understand a very high percentage of the story even though I was walking and paying attention to what was going on around me. So for me, it all depends on my level. My level isn't high enough to be able to catch a whole story of an audiobook that's at a faster pace while I'm also trying to walk and pay attention to the roads. So podcasts at a slower rate were better for me. It might be different for you. Maybe an audiobook is easier for you to understand because you have stronger listening skills than I do. I really recommend that you try out both of these methods. I think that I'll continue to listen to audiobooks in my free time, but at home when I can focus more, and I'll continue to look for more podcasts that I can listen to during my commute. It has been a great way to sort of warm up my brain and start thinking more in Spanish before I arrive at school. And now I'd love to hear from you. If you have any recommendations of different strategies I can use to make the most of my time living abroad and practicing Spanish, I would love to hear them. Last week I got a great comment from Jana about strategies for vocabulary practice and retention. So I'm going to try out some of those activities this week. If you have any other recommendations for how I can improve my Spanish, I would love to hear them. Please leave me a comment below. I hope that you continue to try out new strategies for your language learning and I will too.